Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a motor on a Dyson DC07. Now, this motor fits all models in the DC07 range and all of the ones in the DC14. Safety first, obviously, make sure you're unplugged from the mains. Now, this is by no means an easy task, but it's more fiddly than anything else. I'm going to start by removing absolutely everything that I can from the Dyson just to make the job a little bit easier. Remove the sole plate, just using a coin. And I'll just slide the drive belt off the motor and then the brush roll can come out. That's the internal hose. Okay, now I just need to remove these retaining clips. So now my Dyson's looking pretty naked. Um, I'm just going to remove the switch here so that I can I can feed the cable down the back and give myself much more room to move when it comes to taking the motor out. So if we just pull apart the switch mechanism, and feed that through and just uncouple those connectors then I can feed that through there and I'm going to have much more space to move when I get the motor out. Now I've got five screws that I need to remove on the motor housing here, 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 here and here. And that's the last screw coming out using a Torx head bit, you can get a full pack of these on the eSpares website. That should, there we go. Now, there we have the motor. If I just feed that cable through, we can put the rest of the unit to one side. Take off this last piece of casing. And there we go. Now, I just need to remove this end piece of casing here. Ah, there we go. So that, that's our motor retainer, which has nicely come away. Now here we can see the, the motor fan case seal, and then the motor itself. Now all I'm going to do is put as much pressure as I can on the motor there and out it comes. Now just uncouple my wires. Pull off the, um, the fan case seal. Now you can replace that if that's damaged in any way, but if not, then you can use the same one. So there we go, there we've got our old motor. All we've now got to do is start putting it back together again with the new motor. So let's start by putting the fan case seal onto the new one. So that's the fan case seal on. Now, I just need to get from the old motor this belt guard should just pop off, go on in exactly the same way. Okay, and we're ready to put the new motor into its housing. Now, it's a little bit tricky, so we've got to line this up as we slide it in. We've got to couple our wires up and then slide the whole thing in. Now, a little trick for you here is to just get a little bit of fairy liquid and just run it round the inside of the housing and round the outside of the fan case. Just a little bit. 
that's going to help it slide on, otherwise you'll be fighting with it for hours. Okay. Okay, that's the trickiest bit over with. I now need to put on this, uh, this motor retainer. It is arrowed for where it needs to go at the top. And then just make sure it clicks back fully into place. That's great. Now, just get the body of the Dyson back again, feed the cable back through, and sit the motor back in place. Now just a case of putting everything back together in exactly the same way as we took it apart. That's now ready to screw up again. Put the belt over the brush roll first and just push it through. And just loop the belt over the end of the motor. So I've put the cable from the motor back in place. I'm just gonna put the mains cable back in how it was. Reconnect my wires. So the cables and switch are back in place. Just need to put the switch plate back on. There we go. A little bit fiddly, but you should be able to do it in under an hour and a lot cheaper than buying a new Dyson. Thanks for watching.